Hello, this is Valerie Echeverria. In this point of care ultrasound session, I will detail the features and functions of the Butterfly IQ point of care ultrasound device. To begin, be sure that the sector probe is connected to the tablet. Once you open the cover, use your finger to activate the passcode page. Enter the number one, followed by I, U, S, M, all lowercase letters, followed by an exclamation point. Find and select the blue and black butterfly application icon. If you receive a prompt that the Butterfly IQ would like to communicate with the Butterfly IQ probe, go ahead and select Allow. Once the application activates, it is time to select your preset. Identify the little person icon near the bottom left of the screen. Once selected, a Rolodex of preset selections will populate. Simply scroll through the choices and find the exam that most closely matches the anatomy or region you will be evaluating. Choose the Select option to begin scanning. After selecting your appropriate preset, you are ready to scan. So let's visit the features of the Butterfly IQ that will provide quality images and help determine a diagnosis for your findings. The four rectangle actions tab activates the options to add quickly labels, engage color Doppler, M mode Doppler, and in certain presets, you will also have the option of power Doppler. Once you activate color Doppler, a blue icon will appear on your screen indicating whether the probe is listening for high or fast moving red blood cells or a low or slow flow setting. You can switch back and forth between these settings by simply selecting the blue icon. To discontinue color Doppler use, simply select the X next to the color Doppler word. M mode has similar features to color Doppler. Once selected, you can toggle between fast or slow flow options. You are also able to manipulate the sample volume cursor by relocating it with the simple touch and drag. Be sure to select the white circle on the line with your finger, otherwise you may accidentally modify the gain or depth of your image. This, however, can be a helpful feature when obtaining your M-Mode evaluation. There are a few options for capturing your evaluation. If you would like to see a cine loop or clip of the area of interest on the main screen, next to the blue snowflake is a red video recorder icon. Select this option will automatically begin recording what you're scanning. To end the recording, select the red square that will appear at the bottom of the screen. The loop is automatically stored for review. To acquire an image, freeze your image using the blue snowflake. Notice the background will switch from white with a blue flake to blue with a white snowflake when the image is paused. In addition, a blue camera will appear next to the freeze icon. This is how you capture a still image. Notice when you are frozen, the preset little person icon is replaced with a counterclockwise clock. When you select this option, it allows you to scroll back through the recently acquired area scanned. From this screen, you can select an image to acquire that is previously seen by choosing the select icon then the blue camera. Or, if you would like to capture the entire scanning segment, the three horizontal dots to the right of the tablet will allow you to capture the entire buffer as a Sene loop. Adjusting your image for proper visualization is essential for identifying anatomy or pathology. One way to accomplish this is with gain. Gain is a uniform amplification of the ultrasonic signal that is returning to the transducer after it travels through the tissue. The image on the screen is brightened by sliding with your finger to the right of the screen or darkened by sliding with your finger to the left of the screen. You will notice a uniform change. As a result, the returning signal is stronger or weaker, respectively, as demonstrated here, making it easier to visualize the anatomy. One neat feature of the Butterfly IQ probe is a time gain compensation. When adjusting gain or depth at the bottom of the tablet, a blue TGC rectangle icon will appear. If selected, you will find three separate horizontal slide bars. These represent zones of your image. If you touch and drag the white circle on each line, you will modify the gain for each particular zone. Notice as we adjust the near field, 
the midfield and the far field gain independently. This is very helpful when anatomy is not uniform contrast. Depth allows us to see structures at various depths within the body. The depth of penetration is related to the frequency of the ultrasound wave. Higher frequencies have a shorter depth of penetration and lower frequencies have deeper penetration ability. Degree of penetration is probe dependent, so there is a limit to the probe's ability to see structures well within the body. Depth is easily modified by sliding your finger up or down the screen. Sliding toward the top of the tablet will allow increasing depth or deeper penetration. Sliding toward the bottom of the tablet will decrease the depth and reduce penetration of the sound waves. Additional options available on the frozen screen are text annotation, line measurements, or elliptical measurements. Once you initiate the alpha dimension icon, at the bottom right, these options will appear. The label icon provides common annotations found within the selected preset. You also now have the option to add plain text using the provided keyboard. If you discover a lesion or anomaly while per performing an evaluation, obtaining a measurement is often helpful. The line option provides a straight measurement from two endpoints. These endpoints can be positioned by touching and dragging the blue dot to the desired location at each end of the line. If the area of interest is circumscribed, the ellipse tool may be a better fit for your needs. The circle can be relocated by selecting the area within the measurement and changing the size is done by touching and dragging one of the two blue dots on the outside of the ellipsis. Notice the two arrows pointing from the blue dot to the right. This allows us to rotate the measurement to best fit our area of interest. I hope this intro video will help you better utilize the various functions of the Butterfly IQ point-of-care ultrasound device. Happy scanning!